Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Fits that one, as Absolutely. that is going to be the choice. I love it. It's great into Renekton. It's exactly what you need. Um, signed by himself. I don't think the greatest hard engage went Pella with Leona. Beautiful. Yep. We come through. Yeah, that's the flash forward from life. Immediately, Leo's going to try and get out of there, but it's not going to work. Lahens going to try and pull cleared back, but it's not going to take enough damage. The Ignite's ticking down. Meanwhile, Rascal's going to get killed as the Nidalee Renekton combos are working beautifully, and the Ignite. I expect that Keen should be able to do this. There he goes. There's the flash forward. It's exactly what we were talking about, and Rascal's dead again. Perfect example. Yeah. Um, Drake should be started up here, because the moment that Dread shows, uh, I hope that Clit goes. Or am I go for a gank again? Might be looking for it. In he goes as Leo doesn't have the flash. That's a beautiful dredge line, though, as Lahenz is going to sacrifice himself for the good of his AD carry. As now, ooh, I thought maybe there might be a teleport coming but they're towards the top side of the map as well. BDD is going to move in. The Zoe a little bit later to the party. Decimating Stratton Smash is big, and that is just a dead Renekton. A little bit too early here as Afrika still looking for a little bit more potentially, but they've already lost their Renekton, and that is a disaster. Traps available and they can hunt to zero someone. Oh, bubble connects. Oh, six. Yeah, and that is going to be a beautiful paddle star from Fly. The flash forward dread. Going to find the auto as he turns back to a lady. And Afrika will even this one. It's out. unfortunate, but it's not going to be the end of the game. Um, and I am happy to see Genji recognize that we just need to make it free. BDD. Yeah, let's uh, put Ruler and Life into a problem situation as Life is going to be the target. He's going to try and Zenith Blade his way away. That was actually really beautifully done. Goes into his stopwatch to deny the depth charge, but it's not going to deny the rest of the damage. Dread gets himself out of the way, but Ruler answers back with another kill onto Keen. Fantastic play from the Ezreal. And it's a one for one in the end, but Afrika will get the turret. But Rascal got the scuttle. There we go. <laughs> he was doing a little bit too enthusiastic. That's actually a big swing. Because yeah. that heal onto Ruler means that um, his... Really rough time for Afrika moving forward. But Flying going to continue getting rid of turrets. And the outer turret is looking to be taken. Rascal gets a nice decimating smash onto Keen, who's not going to be out of flank in this time. A bit of trouble here as Ruler. Stunned up by the Chains of Corruption. Take down about half health as the Arcane shifts away from the potential. Speed. We've seen it from Dread. Whoa, they go in, in goes live. That's hyper aggressive. They want to be able to take down the Zoe, and they will do so. And now the train comes through as well. Goodbye, Lahens. And Genji, they're feeling like they're online already. That's all you need. At any point, if you overstep as a Freaker, if you get caught, uh, it is just an immediate tempo swing. And Genji, last game, those opportunities were denied to them. They didn't actually find any of these openings, and when they did, they were countered by a very aggressive pool ball. However, in this opportunity game... Opportunity for Genji really starts to get there. Oh, that the was turret is going to get taken down. The bubble is going to connect, but it's onto the Scion, so he doesn't take a lot of relevant damage. Solar Flare connects onto the Nautilus as Chains of Corruption come through. Ruler cleanses it immediately. Great knock up there as Rascal does manage to get the Soul Furnace as Fly really wants to find the kill, but he's not going to be able to. Life also burns down and eventually falls to Dread as Fly portal jumps forward and gets murdered by Ruler. That was a whoopsie. And a big one! You had an extra man! You could have maybe set up shop, you could have at least invaded the enemy jungle and prepared some vision. Oh, BDD looks for Leo and he'll find him. The Empress Divide comes out. The flash from Leo though, as he gets himself into the brush, but it's not enough. That's the solo kill for BDD. Lying in wait. That was so clean. Just that was so it. clean. And now, Afrika will be able to get towards this inner turret in the mid lane and maybe even further. As Genji have just been ran around. Well, they are into Death Cap now done as well. And yeah. Genji didn't actually lose anything. Like, it looked very funny, but I'm loving the fact that Keen continues to flank it. I say, as I might have pushed him. You may have. As, uh, yep, there's the train. Keen doesn't have flash, remember? And uh, that Sterex didn't do a whole lot of work. And yeah, goodbye, Mr. Renekton. And not enough poke lands in the interim as well as Fly flashes away from the Solar Flare. And yeah, it just feels like a freak could just don't have anything left in the tank, Chronicler. Genji are just walking towards them. In goes Clint looking for Leo as he ults forward. Says no to the turret, but it's a great knockup, and Clint's gone too far. Two kills come through as somehow Dread finds one off the backside, but I just don't even know whether it's enough. As Rascal, BDD, and Ruler are absolutely enough to keep pushing. 
I think they can. Uh, it's, it's not clean though, and they do really need to dodge these spears. There's the bubble. Yeah, bubble is going to connect. You do find the spear, but the Barrage this time isn't going to connect as the poke from Afrika also just going completely awry. As Fly pokes on over. Still, we're looking for our opportunity. There's the Solar Flare, and it's going to be Cloud Soul now picked up from Gen G. Keen taking way too much damage, but Gen G have sustained a fair bit themselves as now Afrika looking to try and get in there. Genji say, nope, it's time to back away. We got the objective, we got what we wanted, and that is going to be enough. As once again, we have the R button available from the Scion, but we do have stopwatches everywhere. The Nidalee grabs a kill towards the backside as Keen. Oh, massive heal, but it's just not enough, and Fly's gonna fall down as well. And the use by date oh. has well and truly come up here for a freaker as Genji roll over the top. Was a little bit scary there at times. The health bars got low, but once you're in an actual brawl, uh, the composition from Genji should win, as they did. Um, 33 seconds cooldown on Sign Ultimate. Uh, if you yeah, that it, caught me a little bit on uh, by <laughs> surprise. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it did a freak as well. Uh, as <laughs> uh, uh, there we one. go, using the damage. Not necessary at all, but I like seeing Sign Ultimate turn. <laughs> I like seeing BDD use his Emperor's Divide to try and sweep up some minions before the Nexus goes down as well as Genji will tie up the series.